So if you've made it to this video, you probably want to learn how to permanently delete apps off your iPhone. Not just remove them, delete them off your iPhone and free up space. Okay, I was having a problem with this because iPhone has made some updates and they've made it a little harder just to delete an app from your iPhone. So right now, whenever you try to do that, it just removes an app, right? So there's a setting. I'm going to show you where that's at so that you can get those apps off permanently. Obviously, you can go back to the uh, App Store and, you know, re-download those if you wanted to. But to really get it off your phone, you got to delete it. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. So right now, if you're unsuccessfully deleting apps off your phone, this is probably what you're getting. You scroll around to you find your app that you're wanting to get rid of, and you think, oh, I'll just click on it. You just hold down on it, and you think, oh, I'll be able to get rid of it. Well, it offers you to be able to remove the app. Well, removing it's not the same as deleting it, because once you click on remove the app, the app is actually still on your phone. It's taking up space. So it's still on your phone taking up space. Now, if you were to scroll all the way down to your app library, like this, that was the ADP app. All I've got to do is search for it in the app library. It's going to pull it right back up because it's still there. Now I'm going to show you how to get rid of these permanently. So now just go to your settings. Click on that. Once you get there, go to screen time. Click on screen time. Okay, once you're in screen time, you're going to go all the way down until you see content and privacy. Click on that. Okay, once you're in that, you're going to go to iTunes App Store Purchases. Go to iTunes App Store Purchases, then click on Deleting Apps. Once you get in there, you're going to allow it. It was set for Don't Allow, but I'm setting for it Allow now. Once you get in there, now you'll be able to go out, push on whatever app you want to, and this will permanently delete it and free up space on your iPhone. So it's just gone for good unless you re-download it. And that's really all there is to it. Now that I've shown you how to delete apps from your iPhone, I hope this has offered you some relief. I know it did for me whenever I found it out. And it uh, is something I never thought that iPhone would do. And I kind of wonder why the settings there, but I guess they're just trying to so safeguard you so that you don't permanently delete an app that you don't want to really get rid of. Seems a little strange to me, but whatever. Okay, let's go with it. Okay, so now you know, not a big deal. If you have any questions about this process or any tips for me, throw those down in my comments. I'll try to answer any questions that you have. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thanks so much for tuning into Tony's Reviews today, and God bless you.